Yeah. I'm just good How's to hear. How's the family, man? The family is good. The family is good. How you doing? Tell them, tell them I miss them all. Much love. One love for all of them. Absolutely. Now, we got to rewind. We just got through saying because the, the, the audience needed to hear that. You said that when K-9 call, what happens? When K-9 calls, the world stops. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the world stops. Not the so look, city. So look, so look, the whole so look, world. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how it really is. Look. I'm over here taking care of business. You see that? Get money. You see? You see? Yeah. Making money, but guess what? What? Money ain't as important as the real people. Absolutely. Now that, listen, you know that's saying, real bro? talk. Now, I will salute money, you with my head off, but I ain't get a haircut yet. I got you. Money, Can't go to the barber. Money is a tool. Money is a tool, mm -hmm. and that's all it is. Yeah. People, people these days give too much, too much importance to money, and yes. I know that it is important. Yeah. But guess what? Being real is more than anything. Yes, absolutely. I agree. I agree. I agree. So what you been doing nowadays, man? I know you always was getting money, and you came back to the contender just because you just love boxing, but you was already getting money. You wasn't pressed. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know what, Kay? I, I, I love, I love money, but um, I gotta admit that boxing was my passion, my first, my first, my first love. First love. Um, your wife you listening? Know, and, and, yeah, no, no, but then, but then, but then I met the wife. You know how that goes. <laughs> okay. this is, and then, which one and the first love? The love. <laughs> and you know what? And that love was treating me a little better than boxing, so I had to give it to that. Okay, okay, okay. You know how it is, bro. <laughs> I know how it is. Hey, look. Hey, they say what? A happy wife, happy life? Happy uh, wife, happy life. I'm um, a cheaper to keep her. All that good stuff. Oh, yeah. So how long you been married? Man, listen, man. Me and my wife go back 26 years, bro. Wow. You got me beat, see? Yeah, hey, hey. You got me beat, bro. You know, I, I started I can't young, say brother. Huh? I started young. Yeah. I started young. How old? Man, I met my wife, believe it or not, I met my wife when I was like six or seven. Okay. Wow. And then, oh, you met yeah, her at six? Yeah, yeah. So you get married at nine? No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen to this. We met at six or seven. You met her and at my, six? My, my father and yeah. her father used to work for the same company. Mm -hmm. Right? They used yeah. to be welders. Yeah. And every, every summer they had a picnic. Okay. And I remember seeing my wife as a little girl. Mm hmm. And, you know, us men, you know, we tend to look around, and I saw her, and I'm like, man, that girl's pretty. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then, you know, life goes on. You know, we we meet every summer, but we never met after that, you know. Then, finally, um, we move into the same neighborhood. Yeah. You know, when my, when my father started doing better, yeah. we move into the same neighborhood. We see each other out of school. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I remember that girl. Absolutely. I remember that girl. You know, I saw her. And, um, you know, 13, 14, yeah, 15, yeah. 15, year, 15 years old. Yeah. 16 years old. Then I remember, like, getting more of an interest in her. Yeah. And, and, and telling her, you know, and telling her, you know what? I think that God does everything for a reason. And yeah. um, one day, one day you're going to have my kids. Wow. I told her that. Yeah. Uh, what, how old was you when you said that? I was like 16. Man. Yeah. Man. Grown man stuff right away. At 16. What? <laughs> <laughs> we, we were dreaming big. You know how that is. Yeah, man. That's good. <laughs> that's why you're successful right now. That's why you're successful right now. Hey, man. You know what? I think I think that success is measured in so many ways, you know? Because yeah. um, I heard... I forget who I heard it from, but it was saying how... How um you know a teacher that goes to school every day and teaches kids yeah. and makes minimal and makes you know minimal money right yeah uh huh that that's a success yeah that's right he giving back the mother that gets up the mother that gets up every day uh -oh. and takes her kids to school oh yeah comes back from comes back from work you know she's a single mother yeah takes her kids to the boxing gym to the baseball game yeah you know to the baseball practice that's a success virtual woman is right. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So you could be a champion without being a champion as far as having a belt. You know what? You're a champion. You're a champion the day you're born, and you take that first breath that Absolutely. God gave us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you just keep on going from there. That, so, that goes to everybody. Yeah, absolutely. How many kids you got? I got four kids. 
You got four kids. Okay. <laughs> that four came out real slow. I thought you were about to say I got 14 kids. Ooh. <laughs> I thought you were about to say I got 14. <laughs> yo, hey, your jaws have got a little swole like, like you eating good, bro. You know? My, my, <laughs> and you know what a woman... Father, it, when a woman, if I was not. Fourteen, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be talking to me right now because I'll be working. <laughs> you working now? That's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm taking care of business. Absolutely. I'm taking care of business, but yeah. but I'm saying if if it, if it was fourteen instead yeah. of four, yeah, I would have been working right now. I I, I, I would have been, I would have been you. on a roof somewhere, yeah. in a kitchen, in a bathroom, you know, yeah. putting towels up or doing something. I mean, you could have been like the what's the lady name? She was an octagon lady or the octopus lady, where she had all them babies at one time. So you start, you met her when you was six. You might have had kids when you was eleven. You got married when you was nine. So, so no, you might no, have been no. through it. You're about the age of fifteen. You know By now, the, hey, look, you forty. What you forty two? Forty five. Oh, Oh, forty five. So at forty five, yeah. they'd be grown. You won't have to worry about taking care of them no more. So you would be. I'm good. catching up to you, bro. I'm, huh? I'm catching up to you. I'm catching up to you with the age. You're catching up to me with the kids. Ah, absolutely. See? Hey, right? that's why you was on the blue team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> blue team. That's right. Tell blue me more team about in the house. Huh? Blue team blue in the house. Team in the house. Tell me more about the blue team, because I know we got people on here that's that's interested in, in knowing how we conquered the contender, how we kept the contender going, and how season two was actually my favorite season. Bro, it, it, you know what it was? That season two was real. You get what I'm saying? Um, I mean, you know, like season one was like, I mean, all respects to season one. You get what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. All respects, you know, great guys, Alfonso, you know, Sergio, love him, you know? Yeah. All beautiful. But but I'm, I'm set, season two was basically the people that didn't get a chance. Yeah. You know, to 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 basically show, you know, Show what boxing is really all about. Absolutely. Except, hold on. You Except, know? Steph, Steve. Steve had a chance, man. He was on there. He yeah, had, became a world champion. Was that fair? Do you believe that why, was fair? And that's why I chose him. That's why I chose him to fight him because I wanted to put out there. <laughs> that's I, right. wanted, I, I wanted to put out the. You know what? Hey, right here, this guy's a world right. champion. You know what? I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him his first fight. I see one. Okay. Because see because that. if if he got a chance, you know what? We gotta show the difference. Between the guys that never got a chance and the guys that got a chance, Absolutely. so they could see how equal, how equally, how equally uh, matched we are. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, our skills. You know, the guys like me, yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, we were real hungry guys. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And and, and yeah, you know, some of us. I mean, brother, I am so proud of you, man. God bless you, bro. You yeah. know what you did? You did what most of us didn't do, man. You became a world champion after. You know, like you know how they say, oh, you know, that's a that's a TV champion, you know? Yeah. And it's not a TV champion because K-9 Bundridge became a champion, you know what I'm saying, after, after the being a TV, a TV champion. Yeah, yeah. After, after, after being a star along with everybody that fought on the contender from season one yeah, on exactly. down. Just to let them know this ain't a beard. This ain't a beard. This is just a mask. Absolutely. You know, you got to stay safe. I live in Jersey. Yeah. I live in Jersey, so I got to stay safe. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I appreciate you, bro, because, you know, every time I call you and say, man, you know, let's chit-chat, and you always there. You know what I mean? You always was there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You never gave me the Spanish talk, like, because I don't know how to talk Spanish. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to be like, man, I don't, you know, too many shots to the head. I'll be like, man, hold on. Is he talking Spanish? You know, or, <laughs> or is you know, that the shots the to the head? Talk, the, or the shots Spanish fight? Talk, but it works. It works, the Spanish talk, because, you know what, like, many yeah. times, um, I, I have a box truck for my business, right? Okay, absolutely. Uh, a, a box truck. And yeah. in Jersey, there's certain like places where you can't get a box truck into. I got you. Right? Yeah. So, so sometimes I will come on the parkway. The parkway, mm -hmm. you can't get no commercial vehicles on there. Right, right. But it was faster. It was faster to, to go through the parkway to get to a job. Yeah. So when I would get to the tow, to the tow booth, the lady would tell me, no, no box trucks allowed here. That's a commercial vehicle. And yeah. I would, that's when I would use my Spanish. I'd be like, Que lo que dice ella, yo no entiendo. I would tell my, my, my employee that. You know yeah. She'd be like, just get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> right, <me> right. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Hey, so look, we um let's take I want to take a few um a little questions for um you know if anybody wanna have any I got any questions for Freddie. So Freddie was on the season two of the contender. You know what I'm saying? Um my dog, blue team, we won, we conquered. And um 
Anybody... I, I got eliminated in the first round. I got eliminated in the first round, but I chose to fight <laughs> Stephen Forbes. <laughs> right, right. So we got we got Brian out here, Brian Rosa. We got King on here, and then we got word word of the day. So any questions y'all got uh, for for my man Freddie? I mean, I know you got questions for me all day, but I want to know what kind of questions y'all got for Freddie. And, and did you what? see the contender? Hey, we got to ask them though, Fred. We got to know if they see the contender because if they saw the contender, they gonna know exactly yeah. what's going on. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, you know, if if they remember me, hey, you so know, look, I mean, I, I, so I wasn't talk, on for too long. Yeah, so talk Spanish um to to the young man uh from Word of the Day. He's um uh, he's up on the wonder word of the day. So he he said he don't understand. So I think he's spent. I think he uh he's Mexican. So say something. Okay, okay. Um, 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 pregúntame, pregúntame lo que quiera. Soy Freddy Curiel. Estaba en en la en la season two del del contender. Y cualquier pregunta que usted quieren, me la hacen ahí en vivo y ya usted sabe. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, when they start leaving comments and they want to ask any questions or whatever, um, then you know, then we we go from there. But but yeah, like, listen, I'll say was the one was the that was that the one with Sugar Ray Leonard? He said, "Was you the one with Sugar Ray Leonard?" Yeah. He said yes. Yeah, I was. Yes, Fred was. He said the other guy. He he said no. What you mean no? He said he was. It's yes. <laughs> right. I, I was the one that went to England and fought Ross the Boss Mentor. Remember that? Yes, absolutely. Oh man, y'all was banging. You gotta go. You listen. Oh, y'all gotta man. go. Go pull up the Contender season YouTube. two. Yes, the um, the what's that? The the Sugar Leonard Cup. The, the Sugar Leonard Cup in in, in 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 um in UK in Newcastle, England. In Newcastle, England. Yes, we had a ball out there, Ross, didn't we? Ross the Boss Mentor versus Freddie Curiel. Oh, that listen. And, and you know what? I, I'm gotta admit that was the fight of the night. You and him, yo, you and his fight, y'all was banging. Y'all both were swole up. You know what? You know what happened? That, that that when they told me, when they told me he's the he's the world strongest welterweight at that time. Yeah, I was like, that's because he didn't fight one of us. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You, you know how it is. Can't yeah. we got to prove ourselves? Absolutely. We and we and we brought the we brought the belt back. We bought. I mean, we bought the the trophy back. The Sugar Leonard Cup yeah, came back to Detroit. We were down though. We were down 0, 0 and two. Remember that? Oh, we was down 0 and two. You got a good memory, yeah. boy. Yeah, you got a good memory. Yeah, and then, and then and then I turned it around. Oh wow! Yeah, who turned it around? Was that you that did that? You started yeah, it off. Yeah, well, once I knocked them out, then that's it. It it went over U.S. I got you know what? I got to search that. I got to search that because I don't even know if that's on on my channel. I mean, I need to go search to see if I can find that. The yeah, Sugar, put some the, clips up. Huh? Put some clips up. Yeah, I, I mean, but I don't know if I got that one. I mean, the whole, the whole contender challenge. I might have only my fight. I don't think I got everybody's fight. I don't know how I would be able to get that. Maybe I go if I go to Mark um, Burnett. Probably. Yeah, because you know, Sugar Leonard ain't gonna have it. I don't know. Maybe ESPN. Nah, know. ESPN should have it. I I know they got like clips of everything and uh, and like um like interviews before the fights or whatever. Yeah. But I mean, you know, that was rough, man. You know, because um, I remember you remember when I got there, man. I got sick. I got really, you know, I got I got like, I got like some kind of flu or something, man. And I was like, remember I was down and out. You even talked to me, you're like, Fred, man, you okay, man? I'm like, uh, I'm not really good. You know what I'm saying? But um, you, you know how it is, man. You know when you got Jesus, <laughs> you, hey! got like, you can't fail, baby. You can't fail. I like that. When you get Jesus, why? Look, you get Jesus. Oh, I know you had Jesus. Jesus for life, bro. J E S U S, baby. Absolutely. I gotta take my head off, even though my hair ain't cut. <laughs> but you gotta take Absolutely. it off. You gotta take it off for that. You gotta one. take it off for that one, right? <laughs> hey, every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. So, you got that right. So, what are you doing now? You know, what are you doing these days now? I mean, you still in construction or what? <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm 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 still in construction. I was in construction when when I went to the contender. Okay. And um, you know, I'm I'm just hanging in there, man. You know, li yeah. living. You know, with this epidemic going on, it, it's kind of hard. But um, I I believe that that at the end of at the end of the, of the of the road, God always does everything. You know, like in perfect harmony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I can never doubt God's work. 
regardless of how painful it could be, regardless of how hard a situation could be, my faith, you know, my, my faith is never shaken because I know that, that whatever God does is for the best in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Are you doing any training? I mean, I mean, I mean, are you still running? You hitting a punch it back, speed back, or are you just hitting cigars? <laughs> no, 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 no. I hit my cigars. I hit my cigars, you know, here and there. Here you know, there. one, two, or, two a day. But um, Okay. The big fat ones? I always try to stay in shape. Is it the big, big fat ones, the rich ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? <laughs> let me let let me get up the car. I, I don't I don't I don't wanna show my employees and stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a, a cigar so I can show you which ones they are. It's all natural leaf, rolled in Dominican Republic, all all good stuff. Okay. <laughs> all right. I, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get one. Okay. I'm gonna need you all to right. send I'm gonna need you to send me one too. I got a baby on the way. That's gonna I be got my you, cigar. Baby. I'm you know what? Puff puff. <laughs> when when is that baby coming along? That baby will be here July. 18th, right? July 18th. July 18th. Oh my what? God! That my sister was born that day, and I had a fight that day. Wow! And you won. I re, I remember so yes, second okay. first round knockout. I remember oh. celebrating that. Oh, I can't wait for that day then. That's a, that's a yeah, 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 yeah. So he gonna come so, out running, jumping. <laughs> I th I think I think I'm coming out to Detroit and celebrate with Kane. You it, got to. We it, we right here. Yeah. We're gonna lodge yeah. with it. <laughs> for sure. That's right. Oh, 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 we here. Yeah, baby. Right. Where the dog? Where my dogs at? We right here, homie. We out here. <laughs> TK9 in the building. Let Season me, two of the Let me contender. go get a cigar real quick. And I'm, I'm All right, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. What I get. Right. Absolutely, go get and it. You know what? I got I got my boy that rolls them. My boy from DR. Okay. He rolls them all. You know what? He left He left already, but he just came and did a delivery for me over here at, at, at the job. Oh, go ahead. I'm go ahead. I'm gonna answer a few questions while until you until you get the get the um cigar. I'm right, a brother. No, no. Go ahead. I'm right here though. Any questions we got, babe? Hey, hey, hey. A bit of Spanish. Well, that's good. You understand a little bit of Spanish? I don't understand. Oh, I know Capasso. Capasso is what's up. Oh, uh, I see. Really, he was at Bustles then Super Bad Boxing Gym. Who was at Bustles and Super Bad Boxing Gym? Not Freddie. Freddie from Jersey. Did any of the contender contestants win a world title? Yes. Um, Sergio Mora. Um, I think so Saki Obika. Uh, Ishe Smith. And K9 Bundridge. Chant, where your gym at? I'm at a few different gyms. I'm over um, at Title Boxing, World Best. We all over. Yeah, I want to work out with this man so bad. Oh, get that. Right okay, Deep let's check right out here. the cigar, y'all. Wow, that's a big boy. So you so you smoke it just like that? Is that that yeah, Don baby. King boy? You know how it is, man. You know what? That's the R. If Kelly you boy. Like, <laughs> My wife said that's the R. Kelly boy. Him, <laughs> if right. you can't beat him, you gotta you, you gotta join him. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's a fast cigar, bro. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> God, yeah, hey, hey. That's that mafia cigar. Right, you know, yeah. you know, say, you know, they're just like this. Like, tell you, tell you what they would tell you. Hey, yeah, that's that big boy. I, I, I ain't choose, I ain't choose to be a gangster, but over here in Patterson, New Jersey, there's a lot of gangsters. You know what I'm saying? I got you. So when I was growing up, when I was growing up, you know, all my, all my boys were like, you know, into the gang banging and you know, and 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 wheeling and dealing. You know what I'm saying? But I, I chose to box. Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's smart. Hey, look, and, and thank yeah. God that might be one another one of the another reasons why you still here. You know what I'm saying? Boxing you know keeps you out of trouble. You, you are not lying, bro, because you know why? I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of, you know, a lot of people to the streets, you know, Absolutely. to the drugs, you know, to the to the gang banging. And you know yeah. what? Thank God. I thank God every day, man, you know, that I chose the right path. Yeah. And, and that comes that comes from the, you know, from the teaching, you know what I'm saying? The the upbringing from home, you know? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so upbringing yeah, from, did you, so you had your mom and your dad in your life? Nah, no, no, no. I had my mom because my my dad left when I was nine. Okay. But my dad was always a, a real dad, man. I mean, uh, you I know, you. I, I'm very, very happy, very proud of my dad. He yeah. was always there. You know, he would he would always call me. Yeah. And the first thing he would always say, "Remember, son, you know, if you want if you want something, you go and work for it. You yeah. never take it from anybody. Yeah. You know, you always say no to drugs. You know, and thank God, man. You know, like to this day, I'm drug free. You know." Like Absolutely. I said, this is this, this is my only, this, and my love for my kids. You know what I'm saying? That's my only drug. Hey, so tell me, how much do like a cigar like that cost? Cause I mean, I don't know. I 
I just smoke cherry um, brown. You know what? They go they go anywhere from anywhere from eight dollars. You know, and um, they go up they go up as high as I'm. Um, you know, sixty, fifty dollars depends what you get. Wow, that's that's a lot, that's a lot of money for a, a cigar. Eight dollars. It's an expensive habit. It's an yeah. expensive habit, but I mean, this right here, like you know, uh, I, I'm sure you guys could look up. Um, what's the guy's name? I mean, I, I love the guy that does, but even Michael Jordan and all those guys, you know, those guys yeah. are all the, you know, all guys that, that that smoke cigars, you know. Okay. Oh, they smoke that kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you you act like yeah. a mob. You act like you from the mob for real, man. You ain't you ain't you ain't listen. <laughs> I ain't trying to tell you to snitch on yourself, but listen, you don't you don't been around some some serious stuff, bro. <laughs> you know? I've been around I've been around some serious people, man. I've been around people of all kinds. Yeah, you know, um, I've been around millionaires, billionaires, yeah. right? You know, um, and and I'm grateful. You know, I'm 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 still not there. Yeah, but um, I learned a lot in life. You know, from from being people of all, you know, of all, um, how would I say, you know, just basically all, all types, all types of lives. You know. Yeah, yeah. So you know, good good people, criminals. You know, <laughs> just basically all types of people. Yeah, yeah. So you you like um, you kind of like 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 different. You, you didn't you didn't necessarily knee boxing you 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 box because you want the box you was already working you already was taking care of your own business i mean what when did you move out you was taking care of yourself at an early age right well to tell you the truth i, I needed boxing because i'm when i grew up i grew up in a in a two-bedroom apartment with nine people so i i needed boxing to change my life okay you know and i'm once <clears throat> once i joined the gym you know at mm -hmm. a young age yeah i'll send you i'll send you some pictures Okay. <laughs> so, uh -huh. so you can see, but I mean, you know, when um, when I was, you know, very young, you know, I was like, man, like, you know, like I would go to school, you know, and these kids, you know, from the neighborhood, you know, had the fancy sneakers and all that stuff, you know, I was like, man, I'm like, I wish I had that, you know, what I'm saying I had the the ripped up, the ripped up sneakers and shit, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and I was like, you know what? Um, I remember going watching videos on TV. Yeah. You know watching you know like the music videos mm -hmm. and you know and seeing all these guys with fancy cars and all this stuff and um, yes i remember that and, and i know you remember that right <laughs> right right the, yeah. the, that was our motivation right yeah the, dreams the, one fight to go and fight to try to change our lives right yes yes so that's basically what happened you know i'm like i said you know two bedroom apartment nine people in the house you know and um i remember saying man you know like i don't want to live like this forever man you yeah. know yeah and um I, I remember having the idea, you know, I'm going to be a boxer, you know, and I remember like a lot of people saying, boxer, like, how you, how are you going to box? You know, nobody from our family ever boxed. Yeah, absolutely. My cousins and everybody, but I'm like, yeah, but you know what, but I'm going to do it because, you know, like, I, I remember seeing Macho Camacho, Sugar Ray Leonard and all those guys, you know, and um, seeing them on TV and seeing how my family and everybody would get so excited over them. And right. I'd be like, wow, you know what, that'll be some cool stuff, you know, if, if I became one of those guys. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So let me ask you about the contender. I like, like, when did they contact you? When did they call you? I mean, what did it? What did you have to? What did you have to go through to be, be on a contender? Well, I was um, I was at a gym. I was training at a gym. Um, at the age of thirty, thirty one, I was like, you know, what? I gotta make a comeback because you know, like, you know, only only had a, a few fights, you know, and I'm like, you know, what? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, just. I got to do something with this, you know what I'm saying? Before I before I leave, you know, I got to make a little noise. Yeah. So um, I went to a gym. I was training at a gym. Um, one of the fights that I was supposed to have got canceled. Yeah. And I remember um, Lou Issa, who was the like the director of the gym, and he was helping training me and stuff. Yeah. They called. They called the gym and they asked them. You know, they were like, you know, is is, is there any any boxer you know that that you would know of that you know that would like to try out for the contender? You know, like an ex, an ex fighter or somebody that was retired, because you know that's what the contender was doing. Okay. They were just trying to give the opportunity, you know, to the guys that never had that chance. <clears throat> Absolutely, never had that shot. Yep. And um, he goes like, "Yeah, I know of a guy." He called me, and what's crazy is that this is how God works. Listen to this. Absolutely. That night, I remember training and I remember doing some ab work, like really, really hard, because you know, I would always push myself in the gym. Yeah. And I remember driving home. I was driving my. I had just bought a 
a brand new F two fifty. Yeah. Uh, a Ford a Ford truck. Yeah. And I had just bought that thing, and I remember like being crunched over like this, bro. Like, like I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second. <laughs> All right, so look, so I'm like crunched over like this, right? And I'm yeah. like, oh man, my my abs hurt it, and I'm like, Lord, you know what? If this is if this is for me, show me that this is for me. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And um, as as I'm driving, I stop and fill up. You know, gas on the you know on a truck like that is pretty expensive. So I'm like, you know, like man, I'm like, you know, I think it was like sixty, seventy dollars, whatever it was. You know, back in those days, it was a lot of money. Yeah. And and I remember saying, Lord, if this is for me, you know, show me that this is for me. You know, just give me one shot. I'm gonna make the best of it. Yeah. And as soon as I I said that, you know, and I started driving on Route 23. Yeah. In Jersey. Uh huh. Luisa called me. He goes like, Freddie, um, they just called me from this place, from the contender. You know, we're going to go tomorrow and we're going to go and talk to some people. We went to New York City and I remember seeing Gary Bellero there and all those guys. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. You, you remember Gary Bellero? Yeah, Gary Bellero absolutely. came in a suit. You know, I came with a t-shirt and jeans, you know, yeah. just hanging out there, you know. And, and um, I went in there, you know, I got interviewed and, you know, I... I said my piece, you know, I said, I said what I feel. Yeah. yeah. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Okay. Hang on a second. Okay. I got you, I got you. Pacheco. Dímelo, Pacheco. Mira, 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 so he called me and he said, you know, I got an interview. I went over there, boom, I, you know, I said my piece. And um, yeah. they said, um, here's our card. Yeah. Don't call us, we'll call you. Yeah. Uh, you know how it is, K9. You know, yeah. people People always sell you dreams. Yeah. I, I said, ah, you know what? I'm chill. I, I just know. go home. Yeah. I'll go home. Next day I'm working, you know. Weeks go by, I'm working, 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 you know. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing a little training, you know, like I always try to stay in shape. Yeah. Next thing you know, they call me one day when I'm on a job. I remember the I'm, I remember the exact job. Uh huh. I'm on a job and they go like, "I'm Freddie. This is um, you know, so and so from the contender." Yeah. And I'm, um, you know, we want you to come out to California. You know, we're gonna send you a flight. You gotta send us this over, this over. Next thing you know, I tell I tell what you know my employees. I go like, "Wow." My employee, my boy, who I brought out to California with me. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I go like, bro, I'm like, they just call me from the contender. Because like, get out of here, the contender. And from, from there on out, man, it just, it became a, a dream that became a reality. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so, so, yeah, yeah, that was a great experience too. We are gonna finish this up. I wanna, um, it's someone from Word of the Day. They wanna know, um, who, who was on your goat list. Like greatest of all time fighter. Greatest of all time fighter, um, Ray Leonard, um, marvelous Marvin Hagler, mm -hmm. Skills, James Tony, okay, and the greatest of all time, Sugar Ray Robinson. Sugar Ray Robinson, y'all hear it? Word of the day, y'all heard him. Freddie said that's what he said. So one person said, um, from Word of the Day, said, "What boxer inspired you?" To, and, and did he have any role models? Did you have any role models? Hector Camacho, because you know he came, he came basically the same upbringing I came to. You know what I'm saying? In, yeah. in a rough neighborhood, you know, with drugs and and robberies and stuff like yeah. that. You know. Yeah. So Hector, Hector Macho Camacho, but I've I always looked up to Ray Leonard. You know, marvelous Marvin Hagler. You know, and um, and like I said, I, I um once I started fighting, you know, I started looking up at videos of. Willie Pep, you know, yeah. um, Sugar Ray Robinson, you know, Joe Lewis, yeah, <laughs> you know, all, all, all those yeah. great, all those great fighters. Absolutely. So, so I had one person. Um, he said, um, he was at Bustles then Super Bad Boxing Gym. No, that wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't training out here in Detroit. Have you ever trained in Detroit before? I never trained in Detroit. I came out to Detroit a couple of times. Okay. You know, because because you know I was always into motorcycles and stuff. You yeah. know, and um, you know, I I went out. You know, I, I used to be into the stunts. You okay. know, and doing wheelies and stuff. Yeah. Or, or every anything that had danger, Freddie Carrillo was doing. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> now, now the X X Killers X X 
Ten said, "Aren't cigar drugs though?" <laughs> I said, no, 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 no. No, it's this not. Is, this is the furthest. This is the furthest from drug because this is a a, a god grown leaf that's grown in the ground. And I'm as far as like Indians and all those people smoke cigars from back in the day. And if you if you look it up, anybody that has smoked cigars, believe it or not, like even Fidel Castro and all those guys, they all live past ninety. Okay, so you hear that? That is not a cigar with weed inside of it. It's not a blunt. No, <laughs> that's straight never cigar paper. <laughs> never touched it. Never touched weed. Never touched any drug. Thank God. Just a cigar, and that's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when you when they when they called you in the room and they said congratulations, Freddie, because they they called everybody in the room, let them know if they made it, if they didn't. When they told you that you made it, on a contender, one of the biggest reality shows of all time with Sugar Ray Leonard on ESPN. Wow. What was the feeling? Wow, bro. I remember like it was yesterday, man. That okay. was some amazing stuff, man. I was like, yo, I was like, leave it me. Um, I man, I remember looking at that glove with the diamond in it. Remember, yeah. remember that glove that yeah, they gave us? Absolutely, absolutely. I was like, they were like, um, you know, if if you were told that you weren't in the in the show, what would you do? And I'm like, I go back home and continue with my business. You know what I'm exactly. I mean, you know, I, I mean, absolutely. You, you know what, Kane? I when when. When you have that strong mentality that you do, yeah. When you're born to succeed, you're gonna succeed regardless where where they put you. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Yep, yep. So I, that that's exactly what I told him. Like, you know what? I'll continue. I'll go home. You know, I'll I'll make my investments in my business. I'll do whatever I do, and I'll just keep. You know, I'll just keep going. Absolutely. What What would you do if you if you were told that you weren't the contender? You know what? I'll make the best of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I welcome. They said, welcome to the contender. Wow. And what you, what'd you do there? <laughs> you gave Jonesy a kiss on the cheek? <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. Don't get me in trouble, bro. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> bleep, bleep. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, so. Oh, man. So we got, we got, um, we got Spook Spit. He said, ask Frey, what are the top three fights he wants to see before 2020? Wow. Before, tw no, no, in 2020. In 2020. In 2020, I would love to see um, I want to say I want to see Spence, which I hope that Spence is the same Spence that Thank was. You. Thank you. No, I'm not K, bro. You know what great minds think alike. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? So yeah. I want to see Spence and Crawford. That's right. Wow. If he well, if he the same. Happen. If he was the that's old That's not going to happen, but I, I would love to see it. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I would like to see Jermaine Taylor. Who? And... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not Jamaica. You sure sorry. ain't no weed in that man, cigar? No, 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 bro. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. You, you know what? You gotta understand, man. I'm, that's, a, that's a I'm a whole fighter, man. That's a sign, Wana. That's a sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp, hey, man. Womp, womp. Tell, tell your wife I'm still the same guy she met in California. Absolutely. No weed, no um, filters. No, 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 no. Tank, Tank Davis. Okay. Tank Davis and um, one of the up and coming guys. Okay, okay. I don't know if I would pick. I don't know if I would pick. Um, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Who Who would you pick out of? I mean, let me ask you one more question. Let me ask you one more question. One thirty and 35, 35, 40 pounds is, is tight right now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, one thirty five. Um, I think at one thirty five. I mean, until Lomachenko is, has been defeated, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep rolling with him. Cause you know, I'm, but you know what it is with Lomachenko? Yeah. That Lomachenko, the thing is his age is catching up to him real quick. He's got to do it real quick. Exactly. I mean, you know me, but it, it ain't over till it's over. No, 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 but not, everybody, not everybody's K-9 Bundridge. Ah, uh, uh, you hear that? <laughs> the oldest world champion. You know I'm the oldest world champion in junior middleweight history that. too, right? Junior middleweight, oldest world champion junior middleweight. 
Hey, you know, hey. oldest world world heavyweight champion George Foreman. Absolutely. You, you made history, baby. Absolutely, absolutely. So, who was the oldest world champion of all time? Period. Since we there on these trivia. Ooh, was it George Foreman? Uh, come on, I'm gonna give you one more chance. One more chance. And I want to. I want to do y'all. Do y'all know? I'm gonna see if the people that's um liking and, and talking and kicking it, if they know. You, you I gotta know. understand. I know. That, hey, right? look, my wife know. My wife know. I know she know. But do Freddie of know? She knows. Huh? Oldest world champion of all times. Absolutely. And do the people know? Wow. Oh, oh, Bernard. Ah, there you go. Smart man. Smart man, Bernard. Hey, man. That's right. Yeah, man. Oh yeah. Philly, oh, baby. Yeah. Philly, Philly all day. <laughs> all right. Hey, so look. So he say, um, ask him, um, should Spence take a tune up? And he said, ask him, would you rather see AJ versus Fury or Wilder versus Fury? You know what? Tell you the truth, man, Wilder's a great right, great man. puncher. Yeah. But he needs he needs somebody to teach him. Not to teach him. I'm sorry, you know, but, you know, like, no disrespect to, to Wilder. Yeah. But as far as, like, somebody to teach you when to use the jab, man, you know, yeah. basics, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's all about it's all about the basics in boxing, you know? And, and Wilder, Wilder's looking for that big punch and forgetting that, you know, if you score a couple of jabs, you know, you could, you could still win the round. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, I guess I got to go with AJ because, I mean, we've already seen Wilder Fury twice. Right. Hey, so a lot of people that's on the chat, they up here saying Bernard Hopkins after you had already said it. So they took your, the, the answer you gave me before they made the answer, and then now they want to tell me. They heard you say it. They ain't know. <laughs> I know, I know, bro. You know what it is? It's slick. What's the fight? It's slick. What's the fighter, man? We, we know our game, baby. We know our game, bro. You hear me? You hear me? For real. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Hey, so, man, so, wow. So you've been, so you still with your wife. That's, that's, that's beautiful, bro. I mean, because, uh, I mean, you... You know, it ain't easy being in a house with a woman for Brother, 20 some years, bro. Life is good. Life is good. Yeah. And it, I it's a roller coaster. It's, it's a, roller a roller coaster. coaster. Yeah. You see the same wall every day or the same face every day. I mean, you're in a big house, so it's different. <laughs> you're in a no, big no, house. No, no, no. Right now, right now with the quarantine, yeah. every house gets small. Right. It ain't no shots fired either, trust me. I got my wife. No, 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 no. You know what, man? You know, you know what I you know what I learned to do? Um, no, no, I learned no, to no, do no. that when she gets mad, I just walk out. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hey, look, huh? You said <laughs> what you said again? I missed it. I said I said I I, I learned something. You are never gonna win a discussion against a woman. Man, say it again. I look as I I say in my videos, rewind that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically you're never going to win a discussion against a woman. That's the truth. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? Because God gave us God gave us the, the, the lead to be a man. And a woman is always going to want to want to challenge that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know what? I just I just know that, you know what? I'm, I'm you know. Yeah. I'm a, how would I call it? I'm, I'm a simple guy, man. You know, like I just, you know what? If I know I can't beat you, you know what, man? You got it. It's okay. You know what? I'll go ahead and walk out the house. I'll come back when you feel a little better. Yeah. Why, you know, why, why, why go through all that, man? You know how it is. Absolutely. 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 I mean, you know, like at the end of the day, now whoever made this, um, the quote, they should put on a shirt. They should they trademark it. Happy wife, happy life. That's it, brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> hey, why argue, you know? Thank God we boxers, though. You, know, you go run. You know what I'm saying? You can get rid of it if you stressed. If you a little mad, you go do some shadow boxing. Yeah, yeah. You you go hit the bag. You do a few push ups like my yeah. boy K9 does. Absolutely. And that's it. Hey, hey, how do you feel about women's boxing? Do, I mean, do you actually agree with women's boxing? Women combat sports, period. I think I think that they've come a long way. Yeah. I think that that um you know, <clears throat> their skills their skills are definitely up to par now. Yeah. But I believe that a woman was born to be a queen. Absolutely. Of their house. Yeah. And I don't see why. I mean, it's bad enough that they got to go through the pain of giving birth. I don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and my wife right here, she pregnant. <laughs> I know, man. I know. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Ronald, what's up? Ronald, what's uh -oh. up? 
Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. No, go ahead, finish. Go ahead, finish. Go ahead, finish. No, no, but you know, like, I just, you know, like, 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 um, where I'm from, Dominican Republic, you know, they go like, oh, whoever believes in a woman doesn't believe in God. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I, I believe that a woman is something to share. Cherish, you know, and um, yeah. and um, I, I believe that a woman is a special thing, and I just don't. I think women should just sit back and let the men do the hard, you know, do the fighting and the stuff. You know, I mean, uh, you know, and, and all respects, you know, to to you know, to Shields and uh, you know, um, you know, Layla Ali and all them great, all yeah. them great champions. You know, yeah. much respect to them, you know, because I mean, it takes a lot of testicles to do, and they don't have them. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So you know. So God bless them all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that was a good one right there. You, you used to be a rapper. Have you ever, nah, nah. <laughs> that's my man's in them. You sure? That's nah, my nah, nah. man's in well, them. You know how it is, baby. DMX in the house. Hey, that's DMX. My in them. Where my dog's at? Yeah, man. Hey, oh man. You know what? He was ahead of his time. You know, we're talking about. You know, we're talking about people that were ahead of his time. You know, like you said, Marvin Gaye. Yes. You know, Tupac Shakur. You know. DMX is definitely one of those boys that was ahead of his time. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It, and it's sad that he fell short, you know, so quick. Yeah, yeah. Man, that guy has a lot of talent. Everybody can't handle success. I mean, I mean, I mean. Unfortunately. You know, unfortunately. 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 Yeah. Unfortunately. Man, it, it's been a great interview, man. I, I think of what we got. A couple of minutes left. We got a couple of minutes left. Anything you want to yeah, go good, baby. I mean, what you, know, what you want to say to the peoples? Cause we got on, uh, we got Spider Moles on here. He said, "Why?" He said, "Wilder is boxing beautifully in the first fight. He can out. He can, what? He ha, he can box, but Fury is a big unpredictable problem. I mean, it's still talking about the um the Fury, um Deontay Wilder. You know that Wilder. You know that Fury. No Fury. Fury actually came to Detroit before he ever won a world title, right? And the first person he sparred was me. Did you know that? Get out of here. Man, the man sparred me. Listen, I ain't never been scared to spar nobody ever in my life. This guy, six foot nine, said, do I want to spar? I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> but I sparred him, though. I sparred him. He said, man, listen, I'm just going to work with you. He's just going to work. I said, no, no, no. I'm straight, bro. We good. And this is the time I was the champ of the world. I was the current champion. Oh, man. But oh, I, man. But he was like, he, 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 he was like, man, let, let's just work. I was like, man, all right, come on. He kind of like. To so many, to so a certain extent, he kind of forced me to doing it. I was like, all right. But when I was in there, I was like, you know, I was really protecting myself. I was like, the I can't let this right? boy hit me and mess around and put me out of there. Six foot nine, bro. And, and and at that point in time, though, I knew that he had a lot of skills because, you know, like if I was in there with Wilder, I don't I don't know if he could if he could actually play with me. I mean, to be honest with you, Wild, uh, Fury was actually playing with me, and. and that just show you that the man, the man know how to work. When you know how yeah, to he relax, has yeah, he got skills. When you know how to relax, you can go, you can go a lot of rounds. So he yeah, know yeah, how man. to, he know how to pace himself. To tell you the truth, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with Wilder because I'm, you know, it, um, it goes to show you how, you know, how how much he dedicates himself to 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 his craft. You know, because I mean, from from fight from the first fight to the second fight, you know, he just I mean, n n me myself, to tell you the truth, I think that he was he was boxing beautifully in the first fight. You know, he just got caught. Yeah. Just like anybody. Absolutely. But I mean, his, his skills are definitely up there, man. I mean, for a six nine guy, man, that boy could definitely move around and box. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, 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 do you think that do you think that um that 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 the reason why Fury won is because he had he hired a new trainer? Do you think that it was just because of the style? I mean, do you think that Fury, if he would have fought that same fight with Sugar Hill or with you training him, he would have still beat Wilder. You do. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I would, I would hate to take, I would hate to take the credit from him, but Sugar Hill is a bad boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I remember Sugar Hill when we went out to England. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and who and, brought, and, who brought Sugar Hill out to England with us? K Nizzle. K Nizzle. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Exactly. It hey, all started at I home. Bet, I bet nobody. I bet nobody knows just K Nizzle. They don't even know that. They don't know. Okay, now y'all. Oh, 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 y'all better know. <laughs> so, but hey, look. One thing about it though, Fred, is like you know, I never changed, bro. Success, the contender. I always been just a real guy, man. It's all about being humble, man. Being thankful, man, and 
and recognize real, you know, and, and, and be good to people that's good to you. And stay in touch that's with why, those that's real. I always you call you. know what you, it is? Call you a text Can or I, something. You got it, baby. You know what it is, man? Yeah. Real is real. Real yeah. is always going to be real, right? Absolutely. And th and that's why to this day, to this day, I mean, we're talking about how many years? 14 years later? Yeah. We still cool. Absolutely. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Absolutely. Now, so that right there has a lot to say. And now, 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 if you would have been on a, on a, on a gold team, <laughs> I might have not caused you. <laughs> no. But no, I still I still be in touch with Vinroy. I still be in He oh, was on the gold man. team. Yo, Vinroy, Vinroy is a cool ass dude, bro. Yeah, absolutely. He be like, hey, yeah, Kate Nizzo. <laughs> Kate Nizzo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Kate Nizzo. Right. Yeah, I, I still talk to Vinroy. I talked to him as a matter of fact like two days ago. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's wonderful. I, I I talk to Steve every blue moon. You know, I talk to him every blue moon. He's still, you know, he's still, he's still a gold team member. So, you know, we have, I don't know, you know, maybe, okay, I, I don't know. <laughs> nah, Steve, so, Steve, cool people, man. I went to right. training camp with him when he was getting ready for Grady. Oh, oh, he did? Oh, you helped the Yeah, oh, you, yeah. So you helped the they gold team? <laughs> nah, bro, they called, they called me for that, bro. And I was like, yo, you know what? Oh, he paid I you? I got to get ready. Did he pay yeah, you? Yeah, they, 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 they took care of me somehow. Okay. I okay. mean, not, not, not paid, paid, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, you know, it, it was cool, you know what I'm saying? You know, they they put they paid they paid room and board, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you. and um, you know, uh, um, he he knew that you know I gave him a tough fight, you know, in the contender. Yeah. So he was like, you know what? Who better to get me in shape than a you know than a warrior? You know what I'm saying? I, I got you, I got you. But you know, yo, your, your skill level was was pretty good though. You know, Grady kind of was wild, so I don't know if you was the the the, the perfect look for him. You were a better fighter, a better boxer. Grady were not was not like the the, the straight, you know straight up A B C guy fighter. You know the jab one two hook. Grady would throw an overhand punch this punch. Yeah, you probably needed somebody that was wild. But you yeah, got him in yeah, shape. You know what? When me, when me, it was the thing with me was like you know that I was a uh, I was a keep going forward guy. You know what I'm saying? Like once yeah. I got hit, yeah. I was like, you know what? Forget this crap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool. We we got we gotta go to town now. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, I always had the skills and and. My skills were like to a point where, like, at times I was like, "Should I throw this punch?" And I was like, "Nah, you know what? That'll look that'll look awkward if I threw that punch." You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I will hold back on. You know what I'm saying? Because you you know how it is. You know, us professionals, yeah. we always absolutely. try to keep a, you know, yeah. like a certain image to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Who you got the winner between Lomacheco if they fought Lomacheco versus Tank Davis? I see you. Wow, Keith. man. Like I said, man, Lomachenko doesn't have as much as many pro fights, but his amateur experience is unbelievable. Yes, and his footwork is freaking amazing. Absolutely, you know, like he gives you angles, gives you this. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, yeah. Tank Davis is like, you know, my heart is with Tank Davis. Yeah, you know, but you gotta you gotta make sure, just like just like Pacquiao, you gotta make sure that that his age doesn't doesn't get him before you know. You know yeah. that that his age, you know, puts up through through this fight. You know, because I mean, you got to think about it. Lomachenko, it's you know a little upper, you know, a little up in the age. Yeah, yeah. Has, you know, hundreds and hundreds, you know, who knows how many rounds and you know thousands of rounds he he's sparred. And Tank Davis is a hungry, hungry fighter. Yeah. You know, which which um comes from our background. Yeah. Tank Davis, you know what I'm saying? So I mean, it all depends who who's hungry and who wants it, who wants it more. Absolutely, absolutely. But, but I think as far as skills, like as far as like movement, and and like, just like that different look, you know what I'm saying? Right. Lomachenko. But as far as like hunger, power, I gotta go with Tank. Wow, wow. So, so overall, you think that Tank Davis would beat Lomachenko? I mean, if oh, if Lomachenko was not old, and they fought, he's not old, and they yeah. fought. You would think. You I would think, think he'll frustrate. I think he'll frustrate Tank because. Oh yeah. Tank is is hungry fighter. You know what I'm saying? Unless unless he got somebody like Emmanuel Stewart, you know, greatest one of the greatest trainers of all Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Um, you know, if unless he has somebody like that, you know, that will keep him calm in the corner. Yeah. You know, I mean, not not taking anything away from the trainer because he's doing a great job. Yeah. With him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Absolutely. But I mean, somebody to get in his ear and say, you know what? Yeah. You know, yeah. don't get frustrated. You know, just pick your shots. You know, like like Chavez. Remember how yeah. Chavez? Yeah. Against Taylor, you know, Taylor was doing all that Lomachenko stuff. Yeah. 
changing yeah. angles, throwing, yeah. you know, 50 yeah. punches in the, you know, yeah. 50 punches yeah. in a combination. <laughs> but, um, you know, but, but, but they kept Chavez calm. Yeah. Julio, you know, you got to stay focused. You know, you got to stay calm. You got to stay this, you know. And what does Chavez do? He kept picking his shots, picking his shots, picking his shots. Eventually, he caught up to him. Yeah, absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So if somebody takes Tank Davis, you know, and keeps him patient, you know, keep scoring, you know, keep hitting the body, keep scoring, keep scoring, and forget about frustration, Yeah. Tank Davis got him all the way. If he gets frustrated with, with Lomachenko's moves and shit, then... Game over. You know how it is. Yeah, absolutely. Can I hit that uh, hit, hit that cigar, man? You keep on, you know, it's just looking smooth. <laughs> Let me hit that hey. It's a nice hey. one, baby. All <laughs> right. It, it, hey, what it, up, Keith? It's, it's What's got happening? a V cut. It's got a V cut. Look at that. Yeah. What up, LeVar? Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Hey, so look, look. What do what do them cigars do for you? I mean, do they get you blowed? You get buzzed off of it? I mean, because I'm not a cigar smoker. I don't know. What I mean, you hit a cigar. What do it do? Make it relaxes your mind or what? If you, if you don't if you're not a smoker, it'll get you it'll get you a little dizzy. Okay. It'll get you you know like a little you know a little oozed or whatever. But you know when when you smoking you know like I do, then what it does is you know it just basically relaxes you know. It's just, I mean you don't inhale it. You know what I'm saying? You don't inhale it. You just puff it in and let it out. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it really and that doesn't work? do much. That, huh? That works. It relaxes still. you, man. Huh? It relaxes you. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's kind so of like you have a lot of you have a lot of blood vessels in your in your in your in your mouth. Okay. So basically, you get like a nicotine high, not yeah. high high. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I mean, it yeah. relaxes you. Okay, it's like a it's like a supplement. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like somebody that goes home and has a glass of wine. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh. A glass of wine. You know, I, I relax with a with a glass of wine or or a glass of cognac and a cigar. Okay, I thought you know I I thought Castles used to be trying to just be smooth. You, know, you go grab a little a cigar, but people are actually addicted to it. I mean, they really like it. It's just something they really do. You know what, bro? Addiction. I don't believe in addiction because yeah. um when when I came off the contender, you know, I was, I was started drinking Red Bull, uh -oh. and I, I I've always been a competitive person with myself. Yeah, and right. I remember, I remember one of my employees telling me, "Oh, okay, you know, I would go every time, and I would go and pick up a, a Red Bull." Yeah, and my employee yeah. goes to me, "Wow, Fred, looks like looks like you're falling for the Red Bull." And yeah. I'm like, "Falling for the Red Bull? What are you talking? About? You remember they used to give it to us in California? Okay. Remember the Red Bull? Like at at the when we were trying out for the contender? You remember the oh. guys? The guys they always had like Red Bulls and stuff. No, I I no, I don't remember." You talking about Red Bull, so, the forty ounce yeah, Red Bull. Yeah. You talking about the drink? Yeah. The, uh, no, the Red Bull, the Red Bull, the one with the the little eight ounce ones. I got you. caffeine. Yeah, yeah. So you know, like, okay, I would have a Red Bull. You know, and like, a I started one. drinking the Red Bull. <laughs> right. You know, they got two Red Bulls. They got the forty ounce, <laughs> and they got the little. Nah, small nah, one. I don't do that. <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> you gotta let but, people know, man. I got a people, a lot of people from the hood on here. <laughs> nah, nah, but the Red, but the Red Bull. Bull I used yeah, to drink Red, Red Bull, Bull too. <laughs> I used to drink that, and, and my boy tells me, "Oh, you know, man, you're like yeah. addicted to the Red Bull." I'm like, "I'm not okay. addicted." Okay. And he goes like, "Oh, bull crap! You <laughs> can't leave it." And I'm like, "I can't leave it." I'm like, Are "You kidding me?" Yeah. You know what? That was like two, three years ago. Yeah. To this day, I haven't had another Red Bull. Oh, you was proving something to him, or you just just like forget it? What was wrong with him? Just pro just proving it to myself. I did I the same you. thing with my wife. Ah. I, I would buy these boxes of wine. Yeah. And I would drink a glass of wine every night, you know, with my cigar. Yeah. She goes like, Fred. Yeah. She was like, baby, are you addicted to to drinking now? Like you you keep drinking you keep drinking wine, and I'm like, no, nah, yeah. I'm not addicted. Why you say that? She goes, oh, cause you drink every night. I'm like, you know what? I wouldn't drink another glass of wine. <laughs> okay. I, st I stopped that for like a year, year and a half. Okay. Okay. Hey, okay. so look, I got I got Keith Rutledge on here. So Keith Rutledge, he has a style just like Mike Tyson. He actually said he wants to spar Mike Tyson. Do you see Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson was um looking real I good. I saw the clip. Doing it. You saw I the saw clip? clip? He looked the good, yeah. though. Man. <laughs> but he smoked Mike. a lot of weed. Mike Tyson smoked oh. a lot of weed, man. He can't go over two, three that rounds. That slows you down. That slows you down, bro. That slows you down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tyson needs some Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? 
Uh, if you have some Red Bull before he goes to Sparta, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he looked good, though. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. How old is Keith? How old is Keith? Hey, Keith. Hey, I Keith. How old are you, Keith? Go ahead and type how how old you are. But I, but me, me and Keith come from Crunk Gym, so he was a beast, though. Hey, straight Mike Tyson. Oh man. Yeah. If he can, you know what? If he come from the Crunk Gym, then he got some Hitman and Canine in him. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Hey, <laughs> hey, buddy, being he said the Contender season two was his favorite. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. We both say thank you, thank you, buddy. Butter Bean. His name is Butter Bean. Ain't that so? Butter Bean. <laughs> no, no, but, but, but not Butter Bean. The Butter Bean. The Butter Bean, right. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all hit the like button now. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Right. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, make sure you guys hit the like button because you know what? It's important. Okay, thank you. All right. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's very important. Right. So when I do this interview and then people will see it and rewatch it, I want us to have a 100,000 likes, 100,000 views. So make sure, <laughs> hey, hey, so you got to make sure, Fred, you go tell everybody we did live tonight, too. Tell them, go ahead. We got to go you, click you the gotta like. You got to put it on YouTube? It's on YouTube now. Oh, man. We live. We on my YouTube channel. All on right, Skype. Right, baby. I like that. I yeah, like that. yeah. Absolutely. That's how people clicking in and saying something, saying things, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, so he say he's 49 years old. Keith, Keith Tyson. Keith is a guy I call Tyson because he has the Tyson style. So he's 49 years old. Mike Tyson, I think, was 52. Now I don't I know. Trained, what, huh? I trained with I trained with, with um with um what's um man with, with Kevin Rooney. I trained with Kevin Rooney. Yeah. Because Kevin Rooney used to train my boy. Yeah. My boy Omar Sheikah. And yeah. um and um I trained with him, man. You know what? Like it's it's something about that style, that custom model style. It's something about that style, man. You know what? But Tyson yeah. Perfected it. Oh yeah, absolutely. He did. He did. He did. That's what. Hey, look. Hey, listen, Keith. You, you listen. I call you Tyson because of Tyson. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> hey, hey, Spider Moose. Spider Moose said he only need three rounds with you, Tyson. Three rounds. He said you done. <laughs> three rounds. I know Tyson fifty three, <laughs> but yeah, he's yeah. still Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'm rolling. With, I'm rolling with Keith though. I'm rolling with Keith. I'm rolling with my man you right here. Hope, you just better hope he smokes two blunts before he gets in with you. Oh, that might be that might be dangerous. I, I used to smoke blunts, boy, knock guys out. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't catch him when he don't smoke. <laughs> so he ain't gonna feel like fighting in. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't catch him off a blunt. That's like don't catch you off. You done had you uh, hit your cigar. You done hit the cigar and had you little wine. Oh, you dangerous. No, 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 man. I'm relaxed at that time. I don't want to run about fighting, man. I'm like, hey, brother, just good. have a seat here. Hey, have a drink, man. That's Relax. right. Relax. Hey, come, hey, come on. Say it, in, say, it in, say it in Spanish. Come on and chill or something. <laughs> Oye, man, relájate. Toma una copa de vino. Fumate un cigarro y tranquilo. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, I agree with you. Absolutely, bro. Dog, this is fun, man. We we actually did um the podcast on my birthday, too. You remember that last week? Oh yeah, man. That was oh, yeah. Live. That was good. That was good. I appreciate you, bro. For real though. You a real one, man. You a real one. Definitely yeah, man, I real told one. I told I told the people in the house, I'm like, listen, I gotta go take this interview. You know, um me my boys calling me, you know, it's his birthday, you know. So um I'll talk to you guys later. I went out in the backyard. Yeah. Next thing you know, the kids came out making all this noise. I'm like, <laughs> That's kids for I'm you. Like, Shh. Yeah. I'm on yeah. the phone. I'm on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No, nah, definitely, bro, bro. Yep, yep, man. So, hey, so hey, how was your birthday, man? How it turned out? It turned out good. I mean, come on, man. The contender reunion? You don't get no better than that. <laughs> so it started we, we, off we, good. We went out with Dre, with Dre and, and, and Grady. Dre, Grady. It was, it was Dre, Grady. Who else? We call Hitman. Huh? Hit, oh, Hitman. Hitman Hearns was Tommy on. Hearns was on. Absolutely. Yeah, Who else was on? Uh, I tried to call uh, uh, my man's... Um, uh, James King, the, the co-host. I tried to call yeah. his cousin, who he never met. I was doing like the Mario show. He's gonna be able to meet yeah, his cousin yeah, for the first time. Yeah. But he didn't. Yeah, your, your boy, your boy J.K. He was on. J.K. That's what I'm talking about. Cool, cool. That people, was cold. Man. I like that guy. Yeah, that was cold. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, do you do you think that um a lot of fighters are ruined the ones that get hurt seriously bad in fights? Do you think they're actually ruined going into the fight with too much sparring? Definitely, definitely in, in um, definitely in the preparation because if if you know if um, if you think of everything in life, 
like they always say, you know, um, championships aren't won, aren't won in the ring. They're won in the preparation, you know. So a lot of guys, they they tend to overdo it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, when, when you're out of shape, you know, like when you start sparring, yeah, I think that what fighters got to do is basically yeah. don't go into the ring out of shape. You know, absolutely. even even in, even in the sparring, you know what I'm saying? Like absolutely. What what they should really focus on is um basically preparing themselves. You know, running a couple of weeks, getting in decent shape, and then going because I'm sure you remember, Kane, when you go into the ring and you're out of shape, you get hit with a jab. Yeah. You remember that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. After after a couple of weeks of running, you're like, man, I'm not getting hit with the with that same jab absolutely. from the same guy. Absolutely not. Nope. Yeah, so th that's basically what it is, man. It's all everything. Everything in life is preparation, man. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Keith Keith Rudder says, yeah, you can't overtrain. Hey, what up, Dean Glazer? I got one of my little young champions. I'm training, getting ready. So he out. Uh, he what up, Dean? <laughs> what up, Dean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, so uh, I don't know what on word, word of the day is saying. Tranquilo. I think he's talking Spanish, man. You might have to say Tranquilo. Is tranquilo. Tranquilo means tranquilo means basically like like. Stay still, relax. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, so we got Antonio. He said, "How you guys feel about Canelo and his improvement since the Mayweather fight? You see anyone giving him a run for his money?" I got, th I got three letters. I wow. got two, huh? Wow. <laughs> I got two. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like absolutely. Say so, yes, yeah, yeah. Hey, so look, I I'm trying to think. Like, listen. My wife wants to name my son. <laughs> Can I tell him? He wanted, she wants to name my son Noah. And I said, we already got a Noah. Noah built the ark. I said, I said, let's name him something else. I want him to have a name that no one else has. Can anyone? I mean, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm let you leave first. Come up with a great name. I'm, I'm going to tell you what. Um, I, lear I learned from that. My grandfather, my yeah. grandfather named me my middle name. Yeah. My middle name is, is crazy. Yeah. You know what my middle name is? Crazy. No, Stalin. What? Jo Stalin. Stalin. Like Joseph, like Joseph Stalin, the the Russian dictator. <clears throat> okay. Who was like another Hitler? Yeah. And um. Names names is something that's that's very. Um, I would I would definitely pick a great name. Absolutely. You know, if one of like um, you know, like one of the ex greats. Okay. So, um, what name are you thinking? I mean, you know, I mean, listen. Now, I I don't know if you're a Bible man, Jesus for life. So yes, you are. So yes. I'm thinking in the Bible, Jesus, God said that whatever that Adam named the animals and named everything, that's what it was gonna be. So yes. I'm thinking to myself, if God told man to name everything, I know He was talking about the babies too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, so definitely. I named. I named Ariel. Ariel is my daughter. Okay. Did I name Ariel? Well, maybe, oh, well I named Omne. <laughs> I named Omne. She named Ariel. I named Deshaun. So I guess it's her turn. We're going we gonna to split. It's half and half, huh? Without... <laughs> my, my second son... No divorce. My, my second son, I went, I went all Bible. Huh? My second son. You say what again? My second son? Yeah. My second son, I went all Bible. I went Matthew. Yeah. Which is the first, which is the basically first of the new gospel. Yeah. And then I named Isaiah, who mentioned the gospel in, in the, in the, basically in the chapters in the 50s. Yeah. 57, 58. He yeah. talked about the first, you know, about the first, about the old, the first testament. I'm sorry, the, the, old, the new testament. Yeah. So I named him Matthew Isaiah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, she might look. Now you got me thinking. Noah might be a good name. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joshua. Joshua's a nice name. Joshua's a nice name. And every and every Joshua I know, like Anthony Joshua, he's a, he's a humble guy. That man get yeah. twenty five million dollars a fight and calm and humble. I mean, yeah, man, man, what do you think about the support that the that the the people from overseas give to their fighters versus the the, the the American the American um um uh, fans? I believe that you know I'm not knocking American fans, but I believe that the fans overseas or or a country of a of a, of a young man or a fighter support more than certain other fighters. What do you what do you think about that? Of, of course they do. I mean, 
Uh, I mean, you remember when we used to walk in the mall. You remember when we used to go to England? Yeah. When we were in England, right? Yeah. You remember in the mall how people knew us by our first name? Absolutely. Exactly. We went into our neighborhoods, and unless somebody watched the contender, they didn't know us by our first name. No. No. Think about it. Yeah. So I, I definitely think that the fan base overseas, yeah. no disrespect to our people in our country, you know, because, yeah. I mean, America the great, you know, I, I love it. I love yes. America. Yeah. You know, but um, I think that definitely the people overseas definitely support their their athletes a lot more than we do over here. Big time. Big time. Big time. Big time. <laughs> I mean, soccer is super great over there. NBA, uh, uh, everything. I mean, you got... Everything. You got, you got you got you got pro fi- pro basketball players that I know from over here in America. I got a few guys. Uh, one of my homeboys, uh, he played in the NBA. Well, not in the NBA, but he played pro ball overseas because mm-hmm. they, he, he a rock star over there. Yeah, you know, exactly. yeah, over here, they wouldn't treat him the same. It's a lot of o- hate over there. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what it is? Is is the competition over there? Yeah. You know, like o- overseas. You know, like somebody that's just like basically an amateur fighter. Gets more respect yeah. than a professional fighter does over here. Yeah, absolutely. So, so um, uh, we got Spider Moose. Spider Moose says Canelo Canelo's the most multi-dimensional fighter out there. He's shown great attacks, set up his finishes, and great defense too. I would, I mean, you want to answer that? I would. Let me answer it first. I believe right now, if if we had to say like who I'm very very I'm the most impressed with right now, I would say Canelo would probably be number two. I'm more impressed with Manny Pacquiao in his in his forties. In his forties, that's impressive. And, and, and man, that's, that's very impressive. impressive. I mean, and a little guy, you know, you know, the speed gone yeah. it's over with normally, and he has won more world world titles in multiple divisions than anybody. That's what I was going to tell you, man. Like, how do you go from a guy that fought at 108 pounds? Absolutely. To be competing at 147 pounds. Absolutely. And still be as competitive as he was at 108. Absolutely. And and how do you la- do that? Absolutely. And the last true fights that he lost, he didn't really lose. I think it was I think it was the contract he was in that they wanted. Yeah. They wanted. They, man, he, like Bradley. Jeff, like Bradley. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Bradley. Jeff Horn. Come on, man. That was unarmed robbery. He beat Jeff yep. Horn. Yep. That's why I think he left by Aaron because I think they were trying to well, feed well, him. Where he impressed, where he impressed me the most was with Thurman. What huh? Thurman was like, I couldn't believe that he rose to the occasion for Thurman the way he did. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Thurman wasn't the same. Did you see the fight that Thurman had before he fought Pacquiao? He almost yeah. got beat by a journeyman. Did you, what was the guy named? Lopez? Yeah, yeah, I think it was, yeah. Yeah, man. Lopez almost beat him. Hey, what do you think? What do you think of the I mean Canelo Canelo to me right now? You know, like like you said, Pacquiao and Canelo. I mean, it's something. You, you know what I like about Canelo? To tell you yeah. the truth, that I noticed that he he studies the old school fighters. Who Canelo? And yeah, and oh, and yeah. A, and I'll pinpoint a, a a technique that he's using that's impressive, and it's how to roll with a punch. Have yeah. you noticed how he takes a right and he rolls with it like yeah, the yeah, man yeah. used to do Absolutely. it? Yeah, you notice he do, that? He do, he do, he do. Isn't that he amazing? Do. That is, that is, that is, that is. <laughs> And I think I think Canelo, even though he's huge, the man got three hundred sixty-five million dollars for eight fights. But three hundred sixty-five million. Let me rewind that. That's a lot. Three hundred sixty-five million <laughs> for eight fights. You gotta rewind that again. <laughs> right, right. I think Yo, that. That's... I think he would even be more, even bigger if he knew how to speak English. Damn. Huh. I don't know, man. You know how they fluently. say, man. If it I mean, fluently. Speak- I mean, fluently. I'm talking about being able to talk like how you're able to talk. You can speak Spanish and English. Imagine if your yeah. name was Canelo and, and you was able to speak fluently. I'm talking about English and Spanish. Wow. Oh, wow. Man, come on. Man, come on. You know on. what, though, man? Like, honestly, I, I, I think that he's at a level right now where, where even if he spoke only Russian... He would be as big as he is right now. Cause I mean, the guy, the guy's skills are just unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, look. Um. Um. So, so. Um. Lavar said that he says, "Champ, what do you think about Marcus Madonna's making a comeback? He's dropped a lot of weight. Marco Madonna's. Um. To fight Browner. 
<laughs> right, right, right. Dwight Browner, but he gonna be. He might. He might be overweight. I mean, even though you know this man came from about two hundred some pounds. So even once he drop all that weight, he probably gonna still be a one sixty five. So Bro, it's hard, K nine. You know, you know, yeah. you know the struggles we went through with weight. Absolutely. I mean, luckily, luckily, I had, I had, um, I had Robert Ferguson on my side. Yeah, who was helping me out with you know with the uh, with the eating right you know and and thank God that I was a uh, I was a guy that was being able to I was able to be taught you know what I'm saying yeah and yeah. and I respected you know I respected you know if, if if you told me that you were that you were a guy that was basically a professional at teaching how to how to teach guys how to throw a jab yeah I respected your profession yeah and that's you know and I respected everybody for the profession yeah and Robert Ferguson man. Wow, one of the greatest nutritionists of all times, man. Yeah, yeah. Robert Ferguson, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, I, but it, it is hard to lose weight. Yeah. Once you get that high in weight. Right, I got you. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, so look, Butter Butter Bean have a question about the consent tender season two. He said, "Who was the most hated in the house?" Wow, that's a good one. That's the easy one for me. I'm gonna let you go ahead and say who you think was. Yeah, yeah, but nah, I, I know who it was. But honestly, I got along with the guy, even though he was hated. <laughs> right. Hey, who, who Walter Wright? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's good. Huh? That's a good one. That's a good one. But, it's, but a few people liked him. It was one person in the house. Tell me if you could tell me who it was. He thought he was all of that. He thought he was a pretty boy and all that. Just you know, all over the place. If he had that long hair. He'd be doing all like this, <laughs> huh? Who? Torres. Aaron Torres. Yes. Torres. Torres. Man, I can't yeah, stand him. Yeah. I got to fight him in the finale. Did you crush him? <laughs> yeah. Did... Oh my goodness. Can you hit the hit the claps? Can we hit the claps? <laughs> Please hit the claps. No, no, but but you know what, man? Like honestly, like I was a guy that was called by everybody. That's what I'm talking Cause, about. Because Walter Wright, Walter Wright. I love the kid. You know what I'm saying? The kid was like, you know, very respectful, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, you know yeah. what? And honestly. Yeah. At the end of the day, man, we were all we were all behind that same goal, that same dream, absolutely, which was to win the contender. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Right. So you gotta understand which you know which strategies everybody went about. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, like like your strategy, yeah, was a beautiful one because it wasn't a strategy; it was a real, down to earth, you know, truth of yeah. God, God first, yeah, Jesus for life. You know what I'm absolutely, saying? Absolutely, absolutely. And and. That's that's what basically got me, you know, ruling you on. You know what I'm saying? After yeah. I was out, yeah, because absolutely. you know what I'm saying. You know, my yeah. man, my man believes in God. You know, and Grady, his background. You know how how he was used as an opponent. You know what I'm saying? I cheered for him. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, I, like I said, I mean, those those sixteen guys, every single one of them had, you know, Andre right. Eason. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, yeah. every one of them had that special thing. You know. Yeah. Jeff Frazier, rest in peace. Yeah, absolutely. Gary Belletto, you yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Vin Roy Barrett, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Just every single one of them was, yeah. was special in their own ways. Nick Acevedo. Absolutely. 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 Listen, we had we had a bunch of great guys. I heard the Gary... only one the only one that had the opportunity was uh, um was Stevie. Yeah. Oh yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. He came in, he came in as a world champ. I mean <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I think the contender wanted to get some credibility. So since first season, it was like, ah, they contender guys. They reality show stars. So the next season, they, they brought a few guys like Steve, someone who had already fought, Michael Clark, who had Michael already won Clark. a world title. <laughs> who can I be? Absolutely. The first <laughs> shall be last. Yeah. And the last shall be first. Shall be first. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Hey, oh, hey, hey, Butterbean said he from Seattle. And Walter Wright used to walk around the house to some Seattle. <laughs> Seattle, yeah, Seattle, that? like okay. I, I was send you back it, to was it Seattle, Seattle in the, in the with Super Bowl Butterbean. that year, huh? You say what again, now? Remember, remember that that Seattle was in the Super Bowl that year. Oh no, what he said, Seattle. He, he yeah, was good remember himself. Seattle? Absolutely, yep, absolutely, <laughs> yep. You're right. He said, "Hey, K, now I would love for you to train me for my exhibition with Mike Tyson." Hey, man, hey, trust me. It's a lot of bread in that. I'm gonna definitely train you for you. Uh, exhibition. If you fought Mike Tyson in the exhibition, you probably make a million dollars. Mike Tyson was one fighter, win, lose, or draw, you gonna make a million dollars no matter what. 
Let him know. Let him know that along with that, with that lot of bread, yeah. comes a lot of leather. Because Mike Tyson be swinging some leather. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Keith, he's swinging a, lots of leather, brother. <laughs> lots of. <laughs> hey, I'm talking hey, about for real. You hey. know, you know that, that, that when I when I used to when I was coming up as a pro, you know, I, I was 19, you know, and I turned yeah. pro, and um, I was in, in Buddy McGirt's training camp. Yeah. You know, um, with Al Cerdo, you know. Yeah, man, you know, one of the loves of my life, you know, yeah. I, I love the guy, you know, rest in peace. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, Danny Milano, who's a cut man today. Yeah. And I and I remember Buddy McGirt's buddy um, used to come, used to come to the gym and he used to always yeah. say, it's time to hear some leather slapping yeah. every time that he came in the gym. Yeah. Because we, we would always spar, you know. So if he's yeah. ready to spar, to spar Mike Tyson, do an exhibition. Yeah. Tell him he better be ready to hear some leather slapping. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> hey, so look, hey, listen, Fred, listen, man, I appreciate you for coming on, man. Um, we definitely got to chop it up again. I think that's our time right now, man. You know, um, and you get you get any, any anything like any social media you want to shout out to the to the people that's um that's on the chat with us tonight. And uh, what can I want to shout out to all? I want to shout out to all the people that are with us tonight. You know, I appreciate them. You know, appreciate them, and you know, do me a favor and support K9, K9 Boxing. Oh, 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 oh! You heard it. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, 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 man. You know, every, every, every time, every time a video comes up with K9, you know what I'm saying? I make sure I hit the thumbs up. Thank you know, you, I, I drive, I drive from job to job. I put on, I put on the videos. You know, I listen to it on the, on the, on the Bluetooth on the car as I drive. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm, appreciate you know, K9, you, you're doing a great job, man. I support. Thank I'm you. Proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud sir. of you, my brother. No doubt, man. One love, man. So I'll holler at you uh, tomorrow, man. I'm going to give you a call, man, and just kick it with you, see how you're feeling, to see if you smoke that cigar the whole night. <laughs> I'm, I'm going smoke, to smoke this in a little bit. I already smoked one before I came in the car. Okay. Because the guys, the guys are still out there. You see them? They're still out there. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out there with them, smoke the cigar. Absolutely. And um, Kana, man, I appreciate you, man. God bless you. God bless the family. And I'm, you know, nothing but love for you guys and respect. Absolutely. Yep, yep. All right, appreciate you, Fred. One love, bro. Tell everybody I said what's up. Share the video, though. Share the video, man. Share the video listen, with your family. Listen to everybody. To everybody out there. No dream. No dream is too big or too small. Absolutely. All right, brother. Impossible, Cheers. Impossible is nothing for who believes in God. Absolutely. That's right, my, All right, my brother. All right, bro. Priest. Oh, 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 oh. All right, brother. That's my man's in them. J JFL, baby. JFL. <laughs> JFL. That's right. Jesus for life. All right, Fred. All right, One love, my guy. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. One love. Yep. Yeah. So, look. So, um, what's happening, my brothers? I don't know if we got any of my sisters. I got, I got five minutes left to, um, to talk and kick it with everybody that's in the chat tonight. So, um. USA is a big USA is big and they are spoiled in a way. There are so many entertainers and athletes. Oh yeah, that, that's true. I agree with that. Word of the day. I believe Paulie, but I don't want to be a hater. I am a Pac-Man fan still. I don't know what Paulie said though. But um if you believe in Paulie, I might believe in him too. But definitely Pac-Man is a beast. And I love the fact that um Pac-Man he represents Jesus Christ. Is it safe to say Tyson Fury the top heavyweight? Yes, Ty Ty Tyson Fury is the top heavyweight, and he's in the top pound for pound five, top five pound for pound. Yeah, yeah, I'm laughing at Water too, but Water a good dude though. He cool. We good now. Torres was like the Danny Garcia of that season. Yes, he was, and he did. But Danny Garcia still around, and Torres disappeared. No, but no, no. Let me rewind that. No, Danny Garcia, cool though. Danny Garcia, he a good dude. Him and his dad, you know. But as far as the looks, you know, what I mean, he got that pretty boy look. Uh, Michael Clark had that Floyd persona. Michael Clark did have that Floyd persona, but all he was trying to do was sell himself. I mean, you can't knock him for that. He was just, he just, it was his opportunity to be the man, and all he was trying to do was just be the man. And you can't do nothing but um, not you can't knock him for that. It's just his ways about being a man. You could be the man. Without trying to be the man. Just look at Jesus. We will 
Say, uh, oh yeah, I know you got leather too, Tyson. I know you got leather, brother. I know. I already know. I don't call you Tyson for nothing, Keith. <laughs> we will. Will we ever get Crawford Spence? At this point in time, Antonio, I don't want to see that fight. I don't think that Spence is ready. I think I think he needs to take a tune up first because um, you know, your heart can get you killed. He, the man lost all his front teeth in that car accident he had. Make sure y'all go look at that video. My wife did a great job and um putting that video, helping me put that video together. It's um what is it called, Sean? Just go look it up. <laughs> Spence. You know what I'm saying? Will Spence be ever be the same? But I, it's on my YouTube channel. Oh, uh, I will always I always dreamed of fighting Mike Tyson. <laughs> I never dreamed of fighting Mike Tyson. <laughs> Do you remember that song? I think I could beat Mike Tyson. Was that the Fresh Prince? <laughs> hey, I thought I could beat Mike Tyson too. I remember a guy came up to me and was like, K-9. He's like, man, I heard you could fight. Who do you think you can beat? I said, man, I, I could beat Mike Tyson. And once I got in the ring for the first time and, and caught my first headache, I was like, man, I don't know if I could beat Mike Tyson. Hey, Corey, what's up, Corey? You always late. Unless it's the plate. <laughs> Toss some glove up, bum. <laughs> Keep on talking. I'm going to let you see my man's Tyson. Hey, Keith, I got some easy work for you. Corey Ashland. Tell Corey Ashland what you would do to him. <laughs> That's right. Five minutes. Damn, I just made it. Oh, what's up, bro? We're going to go. Listen, since you just got here, we're going to go six minutes. We're going to add an extra minutes. All right? I told you I was going to be on here. What time we say we was going to be on here, Wana? The original time? Yeah, 7.45. We've been on here since, since 7.45. I'll be going... Overtime all the time in the ring. I never went overtime. I'm trying to get you up out of there, but but you know when we on YouTube, you know for my peoples, I don't look at y'all as my fans. I look at y'all as my peoples. So y'all make sure y'all you know y'all stay around, man, and and rock with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I wish it was some kind of way I could actually um, tag y'all to y'all my people people peoples because I know my channel is starting to grow and eventually I'm not gonna be able. To, well, I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna remember Butterbean. Of course, I remember Tyson, first round boxing. Um, of course, Corey. Um, I'm going to remember y'all, man. I'm going to remember the people that was there in the beginning. Because the channel is definitely growing. K9, are you a fan of other sports? I know Detroit has a lot of teams. You a Pistons, Lions, Red Wing fan or anything? Well, you know what? I do love all the all, all of Detroit sports. Um, I wasn't really a, a Red Wing fan. Uh, since I didn't understand um, hockey, I just didn't. Um, I, I like to I like to watch the fights. I like them when they fought, and that was basically it. I would watch hockey here and there, but I understood basketball, I understood football, and I understood baseball. And I actually a few years ago, I was actually blessed to throw out the first pitch at the Tigers game. <laughs> I mean, I felt like. I almost said I felt like Jesus. <laughs> hey, one, I got, I feel like Jesus. I feel like Jesus. Yeah, when I threw the first pitch out, a boy head is easy to hit. Womp, womp, womp. Hey, champ, me and Kaya are watching, and she said hello to you. Hey, tell you gotta tell um, um, um tell Kaya, tell her I said Kayla, I said um, to go on go online right now on her channel too. So that'll be another view, another person. You got to make this big. But till I say hi. No, till I say what's up, I'm messing with her. Tell Kayla I said glove up. Now, and I'll take her on the court one-on-one. -on -one. What she want to do? Till I say what she... Oh, 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 oh. She may... Actually, she watching the last dance tomorrow. Hey, hey I'm, K9, I'm a big fan. Oh, you a big fan of who? Me? Oh, man, I appreciate that, boy. Because we got a lot of haters in Detroit, boy. You must not be from Detroit. You must not be. I like your style of boxing. Oh, yeah, listen. One thing about me, I'm trying to knock your head off. <laughs> if you don't like my style of boxing, then you don't like boxing. You don't like the fight game. I'm trying to knock you out. For real. I mean, I'm trying to set something up. I'm going to dip. Boom. I'm coming up. Boom. I'm, I'm exactly what my hat say. Oh, oh, oh. Dog in the ring. Put me in a jungle. I'm going to come out with the lion's head. So, yeah, um, so I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Um, what time are we going to be on tomorrow? <laughs> My wife like, hey, it's on you, babe. Uh, she says, whenever you're ready. All right, I'll be ready. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll chat real soon, y'all. I'll let y'all know when I'll be on again. Most likely to be tomorrow. I think we got a guest tomorrow. So 
If we got a guest tomorrow, but I will be um if y'all up tomorrow at at ten thirty a.m. I will be on Facebook, Title Boxing, Title Boxing Club, West Bloomfield. I'm teaching a free class. I'm teaching boxing. So Tyson, you know, make sure you have you and Caleb be on there do the free class. I'm teaching tomorrow at ten thirty a.m. in the morning on Facebook, Title Boxing at Title Boxing Club, Bloomfield. West Bloomfield. Don't forget, y'all. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Hey, listen, first round boxing. I used to fight for a, a team called uh, uh, First Round. First, wasn't it First Round Productions? I used to fight for First Round Productions. So, First Round is in the building. Oh, yeah, I love that. When you say cheers, champ, I get off the phone with all my young dogs. I'd be like, cheers. I got that from over now when I fought in, 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 um, in the UK. Cheers. <laughs> all right, word of the day. Night, night. Peace, y'all. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Hey, some of y'all was late. <laughs> hey, but it's better to be late than never, right? The jab you got, K9 would score a knockdown. But you, what's up? You get claiming he won't work with Spence. I don't know why. If you scared to fight, don't be a boxer. <laughs> for real. Yeah. I ain't never scared. And I ain't never been scared, y'all, of nothing. So Federal Six, man, I hate that you got here too late, bro. But um, be early. You know what they say? The early bird get the worm. <laughs> Federal Six, Keith, word of the day, LeVar, first round boxing, LeVar, Spider Moose, Tyson, everybody, Butter, Butter B. We out, the, we out of here. I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. K9 Boxing, baby. One love, Jesus for life.